Well, hello everyone, it's your prince of the motherfucking science! And I'm back again with another Would You Rather, and I know all of you, blah, blah, blah. You, you need to bring this bitch, bring in Nami, bring in this girl from this world, please bring in this Medusa character, bring Rebrianne! First of all, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I do what I want. Now, secondly, I, I looked around all the worlds, I went to the, the harems, I went to the shonens, I went everything in between. I even visited some trap lands, we'll talk about that in another video. That's a whole different debacle. Ah, but I looked and I found this warrior, this warrior who is renowned, famous, infamous even, this red-headed warrior, this character from fairy tales. So without further ado, I'm gonna introduce the one, the only, Urza. Welcome. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's good to finally meet you. I've heard a lot about your legend. People in the comments are just, they, they rave about you, your ability, your quips. Well, thank you very much. I've heard quite a bit about you as well. Oh, thank you. I hear you're quite the fighter. Absolutely, I am. I'm, I'm one of the greatest fighters of my, well, at least in my show. I don't know about others, but I can safely say I think I'm one of the strongest characters um, in Shonen history. One of, up there, up there, for sure. Top 10. Easy. Quite impressive. I think so as well. I, I gotta ask you some questions, though, Urza, and I, I'm a little curious. What, what, you got all these equips. I, I'm not really familiar with all this, but why do you, I hear that you have bunny equips? What's up with the cosplay? What's going on here? I, I don't really dig all this. The cosplay, the sexy outfits. I mean, I get your look right now. You got your armor on. You're looking like you're ready to go to war. You got the sword and shit, like my son. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't care swords. I, I like fighting with my fists. I like to get up close and personal, you know? That's the old school approach. Are you trying to say you have an issue with my equipment? Well, I do not necessarily have an issue. What is wrong with it? Not the equipment you have on now, currently. I'm talking about having battles in bunny outfits. Well, sometimes you have to equip for whatever the situation is. And sometimes that's the best suiting. Is that a problem? I mean, it kind of is a problem because you would get... Think about it like this. You have armor. It protects you from getting cut. If you're in a fight and you're wearing your bunny out outfit and you got your camel toe out in the world to see, motherfuckers can just cut you all over the joint, give you a haircut and stuff. You know what I mean? Your, your skin is Do exposed. I look like I get cut very often? Yes, actually. Oh. I mean, you, you look pretty hardened. You're a hard, hardened fighter. I would imagine you do get cut pretty often. Do you not allow your opponents to ever get a hit in? I highly doubt it. My you look opponents like you enjoy it. never win against me. Y you didn't answer the question. I said, do you let them get a hit in? That's not important. It is. What is important is that I said I have the best equipment for the situation. I mean, I said that to my wife and then I had an unexpected child. So that's one thing. You're avoiding the question. I said that it wouldn't make sense in a tactical situation to wear that. Now, let me ask you this then. You say it's for any occasion. Well, to me, the only reason you would wear a bunny outfit is if you're trying to seduce. And is there a problem with that? I mean... Are you saying that I could not use my body I to mean, I, help I, me win a fight? I didn't know we was in the Naruto universe. We out here doing snake tactics. We out here, you know, oh yeah, let me show my titties. Let me, let me go. Ahead. I mean, I thought you had a little bit more renown and respect and honor from a battle standpoint. I mean, that, that, that sounds a little Excuse low. Excuse me? I mean, it's a fact. That, that's a little low. I, I'm not even gonna front with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't bullshit. That's a little low. And who said that I need to use those for battle situations anyways? I mean, I just asked you and you said, what's wrong with it? And I said, okay. I mean, we're walking around in circles well, here. Going to Lady, go into come on, you gotta get your facts right. What? If you're gonna have that kind of attitude against it, then I can use them for other situations as well. I I'm have sure. some pretty intense battle armor as well, you know. Mm. And if I'm in a situation where I need to fight, Mm -hmm. hands-on, then I have extremely impressive armor that can help me in those kind of situations. Indeed. Hmm. Very, very in stressful situations. Hmm. Mm hmm. 
Is it what, what type of uh, villain villainy we're talking here? Right here, we talking about the safe for work kind or not safe for work? We we talking um we talking Pornhub or we talking uh YouTube? What we talking here? Y speak to me. I, I would like to know the details. That depends on um which channel this is going on, I suppose. This is going on a I'm... channel on the internet that will be discussed in later dates. Let me know the details. Well, I'm just saying that. If the need were to arise, I would not be opposed to using my body to distract or otherwise. Mm. Mm. If that were something that was needed. I think I've got quite a nice body, thank you very much. Mm. And it comes in very handy at times. We got an ego here. Yeah. Very proud what of yourself. What was that? We got an ego here. Very proud of yourself. And, and, and I, I, you know, we, we have a word for that type of behavior. And that would be... You a hoe. Excuse me? You a hoe. What did you just say? H-O. Whore. Do you want to go right now? Slot. I, I mean, I don't do that with your kind. Mm -mm. I don't do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, really? I mean, I, I don't know. You were just talking about using your body to get what you needed in battle, and then uh, you, you were very proud of yourself about your, your boobies and all that stuff, and uh, all that stuff. Are you saying that you couldn't do the, the snoo snoo? You don't do death by snoo snoo? You don't do that with your opponents? I'm saying that I am a very skilled warrior. Mm. And skilled if there whore. were need a rose, then I could do that. But mm. I could also kick your ass. <laughs> you're joking, right? Do you, you want to test me? <laughs> I'll take you on right now. <laughs> and what exactly is so <laughs> funny? <laughs> you're awfully <laughs> cocky for <laughs> such a little <laughs> man. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Can't even blow up a planet. <laughs> ah! Ah! She wanna take me on. <laughs> One moment. One moment, please. One moment. I I have to call. I have to phone a friend. <laughs> hey, Kagarot, clown. What is it, Vegeta? Do you know I was talking to this girl from Fairy Tale? Oh, Fairy Tale. Vegeta, I didn't know you were into girly stuff. That's beside the point, you stupid idiot. I love you. By the way, did you know that this girl, Urza, she can't even blow up a planet? Wow, that's pretty weak. That's kind of like Yamcha. I know. <laughs> but what's even better, she says, and I quote, she can take me on. <laughs> wow, Vegeta. Sounds like you meet a lot of interesting friends. I think she lives in La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> he said you live in La La Land. <laughs> All right, Kangaroo. I'll see you later. I'll hate you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <clears throat> you realize that if I did blow up a planet, that I would have no planet left to live on, right? Oh, oh I mean, you, why you would can't I do have it. blown up a planet? Because you Just can't do I it. Because I haven't done it before doesn't mean that I can't do it. Sounds like every woman that lives on Earth that thinks they can do what men can do. Congrats. What did you just say? I'm a sexist asshole. It's what I do. Yes, I'm noticing. Yes. What exactly did you bring me here for? I brought you here to play a game of Would You Rather, but I think I would rather play a game of Would You Rather uh, Stop Being a Bitch and Start Being a Good Woman. I'm being a bitch. Yeah, you're being a bitch. You came in here using your body, trying to, oh yes, I make titties, oh yes, I am a Sir Knight. God damn, I don't, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. You're a copycat saber, okay? Yeah, that's right. I see where this is coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you, would be very upset if I was just a small little man as well. So oh, uh, yeah. I guess I, I can let it slide. Wow. I kind of feel sorry for An you, actually. An anime that so. was based off a of Dragon Ball that's trying to use jokes from 2003 that aren't relevant anymore. That's great. I'm a small little man that knows my place. You're a big little bitch that don't know shit about where she belongs in the anime food chain. I'm sorry. You're not Full Metal Alchemist, honey. Sit down. I could destroy Full Metal Alchemist. Thank you very much. I'm sure you think that. All right. 
You know what? You're right. You're right. I have been an ungracious host. How could I do this? How could I do this? I, all right, look, I'm sorry. I insulted your um, character. I, I, I made some bold claims without necessarily having the proper doctrine. All right. Okay, I apologize. Your show is great. Your, your show is one of the best shows to ever come on air. Mm-hmm. Well, it is. It's, it's got it's, me in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a problem here? No, absolutely not. No, no, no. Is that the only reason you invited me on this? Is so that you could sit here and make fun of me? I did not. Not at all. But um, let's um, we, we came here for the game. Yeah, that's right. Would you rather? <laughs> let's get a question. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let's start this off. First question. Would you rather work a minimum wage job for the rest of your life or live in the wilderness for the rest of your life? Very simple questions. Let's, hmm. let's, mm. What would a night I like yourself? I think I'd much rather live in the wilderness. Mm. You like it being around be there? It would be very lovely to live out in the wilder wilderness. It would be Wild very lovely wilderness. to live out in the wilderness. Mm. Sounds like out you didn't... Mm, you're a warrior. You didn't go to a uh, proper English school, did you? Mm, yes. Mm, I see. Mm, yes. Mm. Well, fuck you. Oh, indeed. Because I Many... screwed up because, you know, you never have mm. ever screwed up on anything before, I'm sure. Oh, I have. And people laughed at my misery and I'm going to laugh at yours. Ha ha. Okay, that's fair. Mm. I can respect that. Oh, wonderful. We agree on something. Her misery is funny. I didn't go that far, all right? Mm. Don't push your luck. I think my luck is pretty good. I think, uh, I'm reading my horoscope. It says it's pretty fucking awesome right now. Well, as long as you're happy, I guess that's all that matters. Oh, whatever. Let me answer my question because that's what people came here to see. All right. Mm. I would pick the wilderness too because minimum wage is trash. I don't necessarily like the wilderness though. Boring. I'd have to agree with you there, although it would be nice living out with nature, but it would definitely be much better than living a meaningless job where you're only making minimum wage for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you're never going to improve. Never. Just there. Every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could not handle that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's Gohan's life right now. Every day. The rest of his days. Married man. Minimum wage. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. He loves I pity it. pity him. He loves it. He loves every moment of it. Oh, well, I guess as long as he's happy. I personally would not be content with that, but mm. teach his own, I guess. The, we are what we call overachievers. And they're underachievers. That's uh. true. Well, at least we can agree on that. Oh, yeah, for now. I still fucking think you're For now. Boy. What was that? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, what was that? Huh? Oh, my uh, my producer said the uh, your refrigerator is running. You might want to catch it. I don't have a refrigerator. Hmm. Must have been one of those equips that you didn't know you had. Who knew? Fucking stupid bitch. Okay, next question. Uh, would you rather be tar and feathered or whipped and chained? Ooh. Well, um... That one is definitely a much easier question for me as well, but... Easier? Really? I, I would definitely not enjoy being tarred and feathered. Mm. I, however, would be okay with being chained and whipped. Mm. Mm. You nah. don't have anything to say to that one. I mean, you're the one with all those cosplays out here in this provocative clothing all the time, you know, in the middle of fights when shit, people are dying, getting decapitated. God forbid a child lost a father out here showing your ass for the world to see. I mean, well, like I said, some situations, certain outfits are better for, uh -huh. and certain ones are a lot easier to move in as well. Mm. Keep telling yourself that. 
You're a pervert. Um. For me. I don't really have a good answer here. I would rather be tar and feathered, I guess. 52% agree with me and 48% agree with you. I want to be whipped and chained. You're a really? bottom, Tart aren't you? and feathering does not sound pleasant at all, I must I mean, say. I mean, I'm picking one because I just don't want to pick what you picked because I'm not a bottom. There is absolutely nothing wrong with what I picked. Mmm. Mmm. Keep telling yourself that, miss. Well, I apparently 48% of the people agree with me, so. And that means 48% of people are fucking down bad, just like you. Bravo. Excuse me? Bravo. You just couldn't handle it, that's all. Couldn't handle what? Your failure? And where did Being that ride you? Being whipped and chained. Whipped and chained. I can understand if that would be scary for some people, so. I just, uh, let me break it down for you. Let me, let me break it down in your minuscule mind that you have. <clears throat> I was literally enslaved. My sane race exterminated by a white supremacist cum-stained lizard. I was called monkey for every day of my life. I don't think I want to be around chains. Okay, Thank you. in that case, I will give that to you. That's totally understandable, actually. Great, an understandable whore who's not a racist. You're moving up in the world. Congrats. <sighs> There's just no winning with you, is there? Nope. Nope. Just like how your series. There's no winning. Sorry. It's all down here from here. I just agreed with you. And you're still being a dick. It's what I do. It's my job. Sorry. Take it or leave it. Your job is being a dick? Yeah. Yeah. It's well, you are very good with it, so... What? You're very good at being a dick. That's not what you said. You said I was very good with it. What 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 do you Well, you may be with that as well. Um I what? wouldn't know exactly, so Why the fuck are you This is getting weird. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not here to judge you. If you like playing with dick, that's your choice as well. Uh, you know, I'm not that type of saying. Um, I think you have me confused for, oh, zombie poo, stick it in my poo poo. No, that's not me. Not me. Mm -mm. I don't know. You sound pretty comfortable with it, so. Oh, no. But that's not my job to ask the questions around here, so. I mean, I don't think anybody wants to ask you any question of any kind of intelligent value. You don't look like you can speak English properly. And why exactly is that? Well, earlier you were choking over your words. Mm, yes, yes, I had to get out my team. Mm, yes, look, mm, you're a warrior. Did you even go to school? I bet you didn't. Who raised you? In a barn? Like Kakarot? I was raised in a guild hall, thank you very much. Mmm, sounds like you were just in a guild hall. Mm, yes, uh, what, what type of... Uh, the, uh, like, uh, education did you get? Tell me. I'm curious. What did you learn? How to throw a sword? I was trained as a warrior. Ah, yes. Um, that's what we, uh, call the idiots. The fodder. The, uh, the so run of the words, meals. you. No, I was a prince. Born into privilege. I had everything, access to everything. Books. Well, heist that's education. pretty contradictory to bitches. what you just told me earlier. Uh, I get that. I, don't get it twisted. I am one of those princes of privilege that get down uh, and fight with the soldiers, but I'm just doing it because it inflates my ego. It makes my dick hard. And I like getting my dick hard. That's fair. I can't argue with you there, so. Ah, yes. Take that L. Hold it. That's not an L, but if that makes you feel better and sleep better at night, then sure. Uh-huh. Keep holding it in. Shall we continue? Yeah, we'll continue with your resting bitch face. Okay, next question. Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? Very well, good easy. question. Mm. I'd crush them from the beginning. Oh. I don't even allow my opponents to get a chance. Mmm. Mmm. Very aggressive. Like, like, you just like to cut their heads off, right? 
you don't let that shit linger, you don't if enjoy it. If that's what's required, then yes. If they are opposing me, then they are down now. I will take them out immediately. I don't like to string fights along. I'll mm. end them immediately. Mm, okay, I mean, if it were me, I, I mean, look, I, I like to play with my meal. I want to see how strong they are. I want to engage them. I want to I want to let them warm up a bit. So, so I you're like a lock. mouse. What? You like to play with them like they're a mouse. I mean, that's like a little weird. Like a cat weird. would do. So you're just like a little yeah. pussy cat. What? A pussy cat? I'll have yeah. you know, I am a warrior, a prince of saiyans. I am not no pussy cat. Do I well, look like I have Well, that's exactly what it sounds like. Any mm. true warrior would just end the fight immediately if they were capable of it. Mm. Instead, you like to act like a little pussy cat and play with your opponent. Uh, no play. real warrior would do that. You mean like every shonen character that has ever came into existence? If you are not able to take your opponent out at the beginning, it's because you're not strong enough. Oh not my. because you enjoy doing it. You're very dull and boring. That, that's boring. No one wants to... Why do you think people don't like seeing a boxing match if it gets knocked? That's like going to a boxing match, spending $100,000 to see the fight, and it's over as soon as it starts. I didn't get my money's worth. I didn't get my training's worth. Do you like having sex and just going, ah, one pump, I'm done. There's a big difference between battle and sex. Absolutely not. Clearly, you wouldn't know that. Well, clearly, you wouldn't. You're a virgin. <laughs> and who says that? Uh, I do. Because you ain't with nobody. Who are you with, that Jahal? <laughs> Please. It's Jahal. Jalal for one Jalal. thing. Jalal. Jalal. And you wouldn't know anything about me. Uh, yeah, I literally looked up on Wikipedia. Look at here. They even have Just your bus Just because size. I am not in a relationship does not mean that I am not, that I have never had sex before. Wikipedia says you're a virgin. That does not make me a virgin, thank you very much. Wikipedia says otherwise you're a virgin, and also they got your bus size right here. You in would only be so lucky to have sex with me. Yeah, I mean, I literally have sex with a lot of hot babes on a regular basis. I mean, I literally have this small harem, even if I don't even want it. It just happens. It's called the vitamin effect, the vitamin D. Because you're just so great, right? I don't know. God made me this way. Kami made me this way. Beerus made me this way. I don't fucking know. But it's a fact of nature, and I can't fight it. So that's it. I can't. I'm not. I, look. I've accepted my lot in life. It's something that you clearly haven't. And you are a virgin. Accept it. Hold the L and keep it. Just Nothing because wrong with being I don't a virgin. go around flaunting it everywhere does not make me a virgin. I don't need to flaunt it because mm. that is just the type of person that I am. Mm. Because you know the people that have to flaunt it constantly is because they have something to communicate for. I mean, you could say it in the other way too. The reason they don't put it out there like that is because they're ashamed of it. Sounds like the pot calling the kettle black. Well, why you would see? you be ashamed of it? That you're a virgin? Plenty of people are. Clearly you are. And why is that clearly? Because you act like you're Explain a seductive- Explain this to me. All right, let me uh, step right into my office. Let me get my uh, glasses. Uh, this is Dr. Petita speaking. <clears throat> uh, time to talk about whores, ladies and gentlemen. And in this segment, usually whores have daddy issues. Was your daddy in your life? No, my daddy uh, was not in my mm, life. But what about that your does mama? not make me a whore. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and I'm yeah, thinking yeah. you're contradicting yourself as well I, I, by calling I, me a whore and saying that I'm a virgin. I mean, you're a whore because you, you want to be penetrated visually by your uh, visual, your, your viewers. You want to uh, have the attention of a whore. We call those attention whores. Exhibit A, section B, section uh, right here. It's in the contract, right here in the vitamin D contract. right here. I can't help if I have an attractive body. Oh, oh yeah, I know you can, but you sure can help putting your ass out here. Wide, double wide, showing your surprise, having everyone on you. Yeah, you can help that. You can have some more self-respect for yourself. But you can't do that, can you? 
It's a little too hard. I have lots of self-respect for myself. I don't think so. Something because that you, you clearly don't know anything about. I don't know. This has come from the woman that always finds herself in provocative situations in an anime and literally has all this shit. You literally, look, I got a picture of you in a nursing outfit. Look at that. What part of that was a battle? I was taking care of my teammates. Mm-hmm. Is that in a, a problem? Sexual, in a sexual way? There is nothing sexual about that. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. And you if you it have helps to, to bring up morale of my crew, then the there morale. is also nothing wrong with that either. I don't think the morale is what got up. I think it was their dicks. Not morale. Which could also be argued that that brought their morale up. It made people want to go jack off. That's what it did. That's not morale. That's a false notion. I don't know where you got. See, I'm looking into it. Let me uh, let me put my glasses back on. I, I see that you had uh, a lot of uh, problems with your mother. You you had a fight with your mummy. Mummy issues make sense. Your mom wore provocative clothing as well. Ha ha! Damn, she's got way bigger tits than you. Damn, you really did not get your mom's body. Holy shit. God damn. Excuse Those are mommy. me? Those are mommy You nippies. haven't even seen my body. How dare you judge me? That is a titty surprise. That is what we call the jiggle biggles that make my dick tingle. That is what I want in life. Every day. And you're telling me that I have no self-respect. Listening to you is bad enough. Pretty obvious you have none. I have respect for my desires and needs. I have respect for my seed that I'm going to plant in as many women as I have to to repopulate the Saiyan race that is now extinct because some white supremacist thought it was funny! Well, I can't really argue with them, but... Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Know your place at the bottom of me. Stop acting like you're so strong. My place will never be at the bottom of you. <laughs> Please, you already are. But good try. No, nah, <laughs> I don't try. Not with bitches. I'm not even transformed. Try. Try, she says. Oh, Let you can transform now too, can you? Oh, I can, yeah. This is called, all right, man. All right, you wanna, you wanna see it? Fine. Yeah! Now, what's good now? This is Super Saiyan. I'm, I'm not even going all the way, cause you're not worth it. Look here. Go ahead, what you got? You wanna equip something? Hmm? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna go? You wanna show me what you got? Hmm? Your abilities? My best armor? Oh yeah, go ahead. Show it, show it. Go ahead, what you got? Equip. Oh, look at that. You have equipment. Now you tell me that this is not intimidating. Oh my, I'm so scared. <gasps> oh, Paris, the thought I think I'm going to pee in my tidy whities <gasps> You can act as dramatic as you want. It's pretty obvious that the only reason you're overacting is because you need to. No, the only reason it's I'm overacting is because you clearly want attention. Insignificant to me. Oh, come on, try it. Try to hit me. Go ahead. Give it, I don't need to look for attention. Come on, go ahead. Come on, come on. Try it. First shot. Go ahead. Give it to me. The best one you got. Am I supposed to be feeling it yet? Oh, you think you're tough, do you? Uh, very tough. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Try it again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, maybe you need a moment to power up. You know, you know. Go ahead. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Second wind. Get your second wind. Hmm. <laughs> Not really feeling anything. You know what? Get. Won't you? Here, let me turn around for you. Could you get my back? There's a spot right there in the middle, right there. It's a little. It's a little crick. Can you get that. Thank you. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Go ahead. <clears throat> ah. Ooh. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that a little bit. Can you get, can you get a little lower? Look right here, right here, right here. Can you get that spot, please, please? Thank you. I've had about enough of this. Oh, have you? Just because you? you think you're so much tougher. Mm, I mean, literally, if that's the best attack you have, it didn't even phase me. I didn't even feel it. It felt like, you know what it felt like? It felt like a mosquito. Oh, there you are, little nuisance. What else you got? Yeah, but you can't use magic though either, can you? I can use this. <laughs> See that? That's what we call key. It can blow up your entire body. 
I can hit you one time and you're dead. I'll admit that is pretty impressive. Aha. Uh -huh. Much as I hate to admit it. Yes. Understand your place at the food chain. Below me. That doesn't mean anything. Just means that I respect you more as a warrior. Uh, oh, as a person. respect. Ooh. Yeah, feisty. Yeah, that's right. Know that I'm better than you. Know your place. Men like you make me sick. Ah, yes. Spoken You're like so a true great. bitch. Yes, I am. But no I matter just... how strong you are, he'll never make up for that small dick of yours. Oh, yeah, the dick jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, let it be known that any time a woman has truly lost an argument, they always go for the dick jokes. Because that's all they have. But you see, men like me that are completely fine with our dick size and our functions, we know that that is just little Chris. That is little girl talk, virgin talk. Someone that doesn't get any ding-dang in their sling-slang. So let's move on. Okay, next question. Would you rather punch every trick-or-treater that knocks on your door in the face? Ha <laughs> ha! That sounds fun. Or answer the door for trick-or-treaters completely naked. Oh, that's in the a nude. much more difficult question than the last couple. I can't justify punching every child that comes to my door in the face, though. Ah, uh, it's hilarious. The torture pleases me. They're children, though. They need to learn. You would be Let okay just punching a child in the face. I punched mine. It was glorious. I remember one day, what, one day for Christmas, he's like, Daddy, Daddy, what did you get me for Christmas? I said, close your eyes, son. And he's like, okay, Dad. And I just punched him right in the fucking face as hard as I could. It was delicious. Oh man. Sounds so harsh. You should have seen the Poor look child. on his face. The look on his face was something to die for. <laughs> oh man. Ah, those were the days. Although I can feel like that could be part of the trick part of Halloween. I can just give them some extra candy after, so. Hmm, so you're gonna punch him? You're gonna punch him? I suppose so. Oh, I'm surprised. Miss. I'm out there. I'm, I was expecting you to be out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to beat I, you. I considered it, but at the same time, I'm not sure that I'm okay with answering the door to a bunch of children naked. Oh. I would much rather punch them in the face and then well, just give them some extra they didn't candy necessarily, after. They didn't necessarily say it was children. They said trick-or-treaters. How many trick-or-treaters do you know that are adults? In today's time, If there was a trick-or-treater coming to my door that was an adult, I would have much I different mean, ways to answer the door then. I mean... They wouldn't be coming for candy. You really don't know how society works nowadays. Everyone's dressed in cosplay. What, to get some free fucking candy? That is a good point. But if they were coming to my house in costume for something other than that, it wouldn't be for candy. Ha ha! 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 All right, then. Uh, That's touche. a very odd laugh, I will say. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you very much. It's uh, it's what uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving, as my wife says. Fifty-two percent agree with us, and forty-eight percent agree with. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people that want to be butt naked. Apparently, there is something kind of disturbing about that. I'm not going to lie. I think they're horny. That's very possible. Very horny. They haven't had sex in a long time, or probably ever. Mm. Or they could be exhibitionists. That's what they do. That's possible. Although I still stand by original statement that if you're doing that to a bunch of children coming trick-or-treating to your door, that is very disturbing, so... Apparently Shotokan is a thing. Fair enough. And that's can leave not okay. that at that. That's not okay. We don't endorse that here. You should be ashamed of yourself. No. You should Probably be best we move on. Yeah. You should move on to the afterlife. Go to HIFL. Don't come back. Stay there. Please. If you're a show to come, die. All right, next question. <laughs> Would you rather kill a five-year-old girl's puppy or kill an old lady's cat? Yes, oh my, my God. That yes. is a terrible question. 
Yes, how evil are you? <laughs> yes, I'm going to judge you. This There's is hilarious. There's like no right answer to this. There is oh, always yes. going to be somebody dramatized. Always chaos, my favorite appetizer. Uh, if I absolutely had to choose one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel terrible about this. But <laughs> yes. I would have to say the old woman's cat. Oh. Because a small child is going to have to live with that for the rest of their life. Oh. And also, I really like dogs as well. So you're saying it's okay because the old lady's going to die anyway, so you're just going to send her off to the grave with nothing, right? That's okay. Well, I didn't want to put it that way, mm. but if mm. if you have mm. to think about it logically, she doesn't have quite as long to be traumatized by it. Such a heartless If I have bitch. the option, though, it might just be easier to end them both at the same time, and then she doesn't have to grieve, so... Oh, so now we're going to kill her. Fucking hell. Love it. That's, that's well, sexy. It's better than leaving her in misery to die alone. I love it. That's sexy. That's hot. That's the sexiest thing you've said all day. My dick started tingling at the mere thought of the suffering of this old woman's fucking life. This is great. So oh, the thought of me murdering people is a turn on to you, is it? Absolutely deliciously, yes. I love it. Oh, my. Now, if it were me, the decisions, the decisions. Old people, they stink. They're, they're kind of a problem for society because they get so old, you gotta take care of them. They're a problem. Steady with you, get me this. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. Go ahead and die. Uh, hey, which you, is you, why my result would be the best uh, option, clearly. Uh, uh, well, but, 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 kids are little pieces of shit. They, they, they put boogers on their desks. They, they don't even wipe their own ass sometimes. Don't you have a child? Some of them. I have kids. Uh, my child is like, um,. What is it, 12 trunks? And my daughter, she's an angel, she's no problem. My son was a piece of shit, but I digress. Now, little kids are pieces of shit. And the best way to handle these little kids, to make them model citizens, is usually to fucking in, to put some trauma in their life. Let them know that life is in all sunshine and roses. Oh my God, life is just a wonderful happy ending. Disney bullshit, okay? So what you're telling me is that you would kill your five-year-old little girl's puppy. To not my her. daughter. Not my daughter. Not my that daughter. That would be the same thing as killing another little girl. It said. Puppy. It said. Well, well, fuck everyone else. I don't care about them. They can go to hell. I just want to make sure that they remember the life lessons that I leave on for them, and that's what that exactly they're feeling. Life lessons that going to teach them? Their feelings don't matter. Their wants don't matter. They should grow the fuck up. Okay. Life isn't going to hand you free cookies, free, free. Oh, you're just going to assume that this dog's going to live? Sorry. Life hits you in the face. Grow up. So as much for as me, I don't agree with you, I can respect that reasoning at least. Oh, good. You respect me. That's something that I love to hear. Yes. I didn't say I respected you. I said that I respected your reasoning. Oh, absolutely. Don't get too cocky. Oh, yeah. I, I love being cocky. 29% agree with me, and 71% with you would rather be cruel and take the last thing an old woman has in her life. You guys are awful. Cruel. You said yourself that you don't care for old people, so how would that make that much I don't. They're pieces of worse? shit that should be killed. But at the same time, what do old... You, you know that old phrase? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Old people have nothing to gain from losing the last thing they have on their store. You guys are cruel. So cruel. That's why I said that I would just end them both. Then I wouldn't be leaving anybody traumatized. And I wouldn't be leaving anybody to die alone. That's sexy. You're damn right. It's about time you started to notice. You say what? What? All right. I think this will be the final question, and then you can go on your merry way back to Jahal or Jahal, whatever the fuck, deck the halls with all that. Jalal. Jalal. We are like not together. Whatever. Telling himself that. Um, would you rather heard explode? That. What? I said I heard that. Mm. Just continue. All right. Would you rather explode or implode? Hmm. Mm. This is a uh, very interesting questions. Would you rather off yourself or off yourself? 
<laughs> well, I feel like there's probably not much winning in this one either, but... It's hilarious. If I had to choose, I feel like blowing mm. up inside would be much more mm. of a better oh. choice for me. Oh. I think I would prefer that much more. But internal? Blowing yes, up? Yes, just to have exploding inside. You like to fill up your inside. And yes, I think that would be mm. a very good choice between the two of them. Oh, okay. Um, I know there's some people that may prefer to just explode, but I think mm. exploding on the inside would be much more preferable. I don't know. It feels weird in here right now. Um. <sighs> Are you all right over there? I'm okay. I'm fine. You don't need to ask me that. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, decisions. I would rather um, explode. Because I explode. I, I did it with Majin Boo. You know, imploding sounds very uh, dangerous. You like the idea of exploding instead. Outwardly. Yeah. Yeah, outwardly, you know, just explode. Uh, 59% agree with me, and 49 would rather internally explode inside. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I should have expected that you would rather explode all over the place than mm. just be all internal, but... What? What? Wait, 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 wait. what? what do I feel like well, we're talking about? Well, if you were going to explode, then you would just go everywhere. It would just make a big mess. What? What? You can't what you deny that, can you? What the fuck are you talking about? If you exploded, there would be parts of you everywhere. It would just make a big mess. I... You're giving me mixed signals, and I don't really like that. Let's just agree with what you say. Okay? Yeah, that's that. Uh... And you know what? We did it! We played the game! All right, you can go. There's the door. Yep. <laughs> Yay, round of applause. Yay. <laughs> so we're done already. Yeah, if, we're done. You could go home. What if I wanted to stay around a little bit longer? Why? There's nothing here. What the fuck? You want to play croquet? What, what? There's nothing here. Well, this isn't I was a hotel. Thinking There's no bed and that breakfast maybe here. Maybe we could have a little bit of a one on one sparring time. <laughs> sparring time? Just the two of us. About? Wait. <laughs> really? You're, you're doing this? Really? I uh, think it's something not, that both of us could benefit and enjoy. You're, you're not even fit, honey, to spar, okay? Oh, I think you'll find that I'm mm. quite fit, actually. Oh, my God. Whoa. Stop it, Vegeta! No, no, no! No, no, I think, um... I think uh, you should be gone. <laughs> you, you are, need to leave. Are you <laughs> sure that it's just not that you don't think you can handle sparring with me one uh, on one? Why are you in that position and why is your ass up in the air? Why are you doing that? Why, why are just, you doing that? I'm just doing some pre-sparring stretches, that's all. <laughs> why did you change into that outfit? God! <sighs> You're really trying this. You're really trying this. Why? My God, why call me Ferris? I think we could have a lot of fun having some one-on-one -on -one time. God damn, she's got a great You've been ass. telling me how much stronger you are than me. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. <sighs> Unless you don't quite think that you're up for that. What? What did you say? Well, I mean, if you don't quite think that you could handle doing something like that, then I totally understand. <laughs> Bitch, please. I can handle anything. I know my way around, okay? They call me the prince of all the motherfucking saints. They mean it literally, all right? I, I'm out here fucking milfs, all right? Honeys, you know what I mean? Ladies. All right. and teaching me a thing or two shouldn't be that much of an issue, should it? 
I understand. You were just all talk all this time. You really can't handle it, can you? That's such a shame. You know, I really thought that you might be better than Goku at something. What the fuck did you just say? I went better than a clown at this! Okay, fine, you wanna go? Fine! Take this! Ah! Take this! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Now that's why they call me the Prince of All Cheek Slappers! You're about to get it tonight! Now! Ah! 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 Oh God! Oh no! Oh, it's the vitamin effect again! Shit! This always happens. Oh my fucking God! Matita, you did that. You fucked a fairy tale. Oh God damn it! Why? Why? That was amazing, Vegeta. What the? I think fuck? I'm in love with you. What? No! What the? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Are you feeling angry, humiliated, is that it?